Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, everyone, uh, this is going to be a, a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading August 5th to August 11th. Pretty curious what the cards are going to show because I do have a friend Capricorn who is going through a rough time and I really cross my fingers for uh, that week to be rather very, very successful for them and for all of you, in fact. So let me shuffle the cards and we're going to jump right into it afterwards. All right, so the first card which points to the topic of your week, Capricorn, is going to be the Five of Pentacles, not a really the start I wanted to see, followed by the next one, which is the challenges that you need to overcome here. That is going to be the um, Emperor card, followed by the next one, which represents the positive aspect of the week. We do have the Queen of Pentacles and the final card that stands for the guidance that you should follow rather like the guidance the tarot is offering to you, that is to be the Four of Pentacles. So long story short, there is a good and there is a bad news. Uh, the good news is that eventually, you know, should you focus on the more immediate plights and, 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 and more immediate, um, uh, how can I place it, more immediate uh, urgencies, uh, you will be able to stabilize your uh, your life, okay? The problem, however, is going to be... Um, well, how can I describe it? The problem is going to be that uh, you may... You may have the, the incapability you know, to attend to everything. It's, it's just, it's, it's a bit difficult to explain, but let's say that this week is all about you organizing yourself in such a way that to, uh, so you can save or stabilize only the most substantial fields in your life and leave the rest for the future if it has a future. So it's kind of like a, a, a rough position to be in, all right? Because it's, it's the, to me, what it seems is like you have to sacrifice one thing for another here, or rather like leave one thing to develop on its own accord while you are dealing with something different. But nonetheless, the week is going to be a bit stressful for you guys. It's going to be a week where you are going to feel extremely insecure, very um, disbalanced as well. And it is like in, in some extreme cases, some of you may start feeling that, you know, they are, the life is, is, is pulling away. It's like, it's like they're losing grasp on it. They're losing control. So, uh, that being said, going to the first card here, and I'm sorry that I'm saying that, but it's just, you know, that in this channel, there is no sugar coating, and it's just what the reading tells to me. So if you are a tarot reader, feel free to interpret it for yourself, see only the positive thing, but it's just how it is. So uh, 
Five of Pentacles, general topic. Well, Five of Pentacles, first of all, pointing that one is going, this week is going to present you with rather situations where you are to kind of like uh, I feel insecure in, all right? The Five of Pentacles is the card of problems, is the card of, of, of I cannot say poverty, all right? But it is a card where you may feel that your means, not just only money, it could be time, you know, it could be also enthusiasm and all these kind of stuff, are rather insufficient. You may not have the energy to jump into action. You may not have the money to jump into action. You may not have the determination to jump into action, the conviction, the conviction allows to, to jump into action, all right? And all that it is because there are so much things you have to do, all right? And you don't have the time to do it all. It's just because the problems, although most of them trifles, are something very easy to deal with. They are quite a lot and it's just it's, it's impossible you to be everywhere. The accompanied card here is going to be the full formation. It is a uh, passive enemies that we do have. So with the full card, it looks like that you need to kind of like uh, lose the news a little bit. What I mean is that you shouldn't take your situation way too serious. Um, you should understand that this isn't the end of the world. Even if something that you are planning isn't happening, you always, if you are not dying of anything, you know, that means that you will always have a second chance or a chance to make something even better. So what these two cards are pointing here is that the salvation and new beginnings and new options available and new enterprises are lur lurking behind every corner and for that reason you shouldn't restrict yourself trying at all costs you know to fix what it is already broken because when a um, for example I don't know a, a urn broke a, 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 an urn is broken it's very difficult to, to fix it and it's never going to be the same. I mean, there will be always cracks in there. So uh, these cards to me are speaking that you will have to focus those things which are first of uh, first those things which are close to be fixed and then attend to those which are almost impossible to be repaired. All right. So the next card, which stands for the challenge for you guys, this is going to be the Emperor. And I don't want to lie to you, the Emperor is a lot to overcome. The Emperor is about presenting oneself very reliable. This is going to be very difficult for you to do because, like I said, you are to look like you are losing control. You're going to feel that way. So since you are losing control over your life, how you are to convince people around you that you are reliable and that you're not going to lose control over the situation that involves them as well. The Emperor also points that in this specific follow-up that you may find it very difficult as well to control yourself in a sense of like to not lose, um, how do you say it? Um, it's like falling into a state of, of, of recklessness and, and being frantic, trying to do uh, random things in order to uh, in order to fix or stabilize your situation and none of them is going to breed results that is due to the fact that you need to first organize yourself so you need to take as much time as you need all right in order to put your shits together that's that's the whole thing here it is the key of your success throughout the week august 5th to august 11 2019 because the emperor thrives when emperor is structured and before you attend to whatever you want to attend you know you have to structure your life first or you have to structure your strategy of how you are to deal with your problems first the accompanied card here is going to be the page of cups formation it is a active active enemies here so uh with the page it doesn't look like that you can rely on new means in new circumstances all that you have to work with you already have so do not um do not kind of like make an excuse that you're going to deal with the problems into your marriage, you know, when the situation becomes more favorable. With these cards, it's unlikely that throughout this week, the situation is become more favorable. You can wait for the next one because no one knows what is going to happen with the next one, you know. But right now in this week, if you... <clears throat> Uh, if you determine that 
for example, the problems into your marriage or into your career, in fact, it doesn't matter, are, are beyond your control, then you will have to completely put your mind in ease about it, leave it, about, leave it alone and let it do what it likes to do, okay? And instead focus on those things which you actually can alter something. The positive aspect here, it is the queen of uh, the queen of pentacles. So this is a, a person who is lending you a hand for what it seems, not because of a good fortune or anything, but because for one or another reason, your failure or your, um, how can I place it? Um, um, insecure standpoint is jeopardizing its uh, this person's agenda and this person's goal so for example that could be your boss seeing you how much you struggle let's say with with paying your rent or paying your bills and this kind of stuff and because this your boss doesn't want you to be this focused into your career your boss offers to help you with those things okay so you can stabilize a little bit so you can give the best you can you you can into your career so you can do your job so everybody can be happy unless you um, aside from you because at the end of the day you have to return the money back all right but the thing is that at least you will have someone who will allow or rather like contribute in a way that will make the the things easier on you for the time being the accompanied card here is going to be the queen of uh, cups formation it is a uh, passive friends that we do have uh, additionally this person very well understands what you're going through because with this combination that is someone who very well went through the same thing okay and while they will expect you to return every single penny or effort or a favor in their behalf they are not going to be unreasonable in the sense that they're not going to ask for that thing when you don't have the means to do it all right but what what happens here is, is that this person will wait for you to get back on track to get up on your feet to um regain control over your life or over your situation and when you are fully capable to repay back the debt it is uh, when they are going to probably ask for it well there is also a chance that they will never ask for it you know but you need you should not rely on this uh, particular unfoldment here because that is rarely the case to be honest but uh, make no mistake even if that person will ask for the favor or for the money or for whatever from you they do sympathize to you all right they do feel bad for you but thing is that friends are friends but the cheese is bought with money it's a nice sentence into our uh, in our in our country meaning that when money are involved there are no such things as friends and the last one here it is the guidance that you should follow that is the four of pentacles so four of pentacles urges you to establish a position upon those fixed endeavors enterprises or a um, activities that like I said you have full control upon it's like finding shelter so to give you an example if your uh, family for example it's not doing very well well then you need to find a, a shelter elsewhere a shelter in the sense of like understanding and hold on into already proven concepts that is because you need to understand that not every time one can save what one has or what is going um, what is going into ruin and for that reason one needs to establish a, 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 a future agenda which is completely detached from the struggle that one is uh, leading right now okay so if you are struggling into your career hold on into your family because if you are if you are to lose your career your family is what is to support you through finding a new career right or Vice versa, if you are about to lose your family, hold on into your career because when you divorce with your husband, all that you got it is your career or with your wife for that matter. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to be the case. I'm talking in a very extreme fashion here. But the Four of Pentacles here urges you to establish yourself around those kind of means you have which you have full control on and which are appearing to be something you can count on because this will allow you to secure your future the accompanied card here it is the five of swords <clears throat> formation it is a passive uh, passive enemies that we do have so with with this combination it's um how do i place it uh, you have to be very defensive in regards to uh, your 
uh, your possessions okay you you need to define your family if your family is something you can control or you're feeling comfortable in you have to defend your career as well you need to defend yourself you should not uh, how can I place it? You should not be way too trusty with, with this combination. There is definitely a chance you can mistrust someone in the sense of that give your, give your hopes and dreams and trust into someone and they to betray your trust. So how you can define these people or oh, these people were just talkers and they're not willing to help you whatsoever because what we saw is that these who are to help you, they are sincere. But those who are just around for the shits and giggles, they definitely are going to betray your trust. So be um, be ready for that. And that being said, it looks like to me a week where you have to close yourself. It's just it how it works. And do not allow people to see your weakness. Do not allow people to see your problems. And I very well know what that means for my friend, okay? And uh, I'm going to tell my friend that right now. But I'm not going to divulge this to you guys because it's a friend of mine and it's just, you know. But anyway, that being said, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading for a um, August 5th to August 11th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.